Hey there viewers, welcome back to another pomade review and today I will be reviewing black and white German Pluco hairdressing pomade. Now I'll be doing a first impressions review of this stuff because there are a whole lot of other videos and reviews of black and white and so I decided to make my own video stand out compared to the rest by making a first impressions video meaning I'll be using this for the very first time and you'll be seeing it all unfold in this video. This is actually my second first impressions review. For my first one you can go check out my uh, DAC short need review. Okay so let's start off over here. It's 200 milliliters which means that it's a little over um, 6 ounces, almost 7 ounces. So that is a lot of pomade for a relatively good price. I got this for about um, 6 euros, a little over 6 euros I think. And that is actually a really good price for all this pomade. It is, um, it comes in a plastic screw top lid. Well, it has that, um, very clean masculine scent, like, um, it's very sweet actually. Coconuts and, um, barbershop powder, marshmallows, incense, well, it smells exactly like black and white light pomade so in case if you haven't seen my review of that i'll put a link below in the description and you can go check it out so my first black and white product is actually the light one the light formula and it smells exactly like it so both scents the same you have the coconut marshmallow barbershop powder incense kind of scent very detailed i know so opening it up you see sort of a, a white very greasy pomade. It is, people say that it is actually um, a medium, but according to my judgment, it looks like a light medium. And that gets me pretty excited because light mediums are actually my favorite pomades and they work really great in cold weather. Now let's scoop this out. Scoops out, nice and greasy. Relatively easy, relatively easy, Ugh. and uh, very, very slight pressure to it. For a greasy pomade, it is actually quite firm. It is, it looks even more firm than um, sweet Georgia brown red, to be honest. And so let's get to the styling. It feels a little gooey, slightly sticky in your hands. It leaves on um, a little bit of a um, white layer right in there. It goes in pretty easy, slightly sticky. You have a very, um, very light resistance up in there. However, it does leave a few um, white looking streaks over there in your hair. That is something I did not expect. Now I'll be grabbing a little more. For a light medium, well, um, this is actually, this feels a little firmer and feels a lot, not a lot, it feels slightly more firm than a lot of the other light mediums I've tried before. Like, you would feel that there is um, something in your hair. A little bit of a greasy feel. And now, it's time to style. It has um, an okay kind of shine. It is... Um, a little over medium. Medium would be an understatement, but it's not a high shine either. It's somewhere in between medium and high. However, um, it's shine. It looks a bit greasy, but it also looks a lot more like a healthy shine. But it does make your hair look a little more white than it should be.
you would feel um, some very, very slight resistance. I mean, not very, very slight, but you would feel a little bit of resistance when you're combing through this pomade. The styling factor on this pomade is um, so far quite okay. It is actually relatively easy. I gotta redo my part, it isn't too straight over there. And for the record guys, of course, for this video, my hair is not completely, um, I'm sorry, my hair is completely degreased because yesterday was that day when I actually came back from my long flight and did that Dax Neat Boys review and right after I made that video I just um, hopped into the shower and degreased as much as possible so I can start with a blank slate in order to do this review for y'all. Honestly, I actually do like the wave styles. It's um, relatively easy styling. Even though my hair is completely degreased, it's pretty easy to style my um, sides and I can manage to keep it down. It's, it has very um, decent slickness. I actually do like its slickness factor to it. So far, my favorite aspect of this pomade is its slickness, its shine, honestly, it, I don't really like its shine too much, as in, well, it's not a bad shine, but it's not too good either, it's a mostly healthy shine, not so much of a greasy shine, honestly, because this is one of the more famous older pomades, I thought this would actually give you um, sort of a greasy shine, but in the end, it gives a slightly greasy but more healthy shine. And I should just call it, I'm sorry, give me a, a very quick moment here. Okay, so I should call it done about now. Just take a look at it, it's very tight. Nice likeness, easy styling, in fact, my styling in this video is quicker compared to a lot of my other videos. So let me wrap up. Overall, this is sort of a decent pomade, it's a little actually goes a long way because this is almost 7 ounces worth of pomade, really good for the wallet. You get um, quite um, a decent pomade and great size for a low price. Good performance, okay shine. And I'll see you again in a couple of hours to see how well this stuff holds throughout the day. And for the record, it's January here in Germany, so the weather is quite cold. I suspect this pomade would actually work better for cold weather. So. I'll see you pretty soon. Seven hours later. All right, guys, a little over seven hours has passed, and the shine, well, it's still kind of the same. Like I said, nothing too greasy, more of a healthy shine, but very slightly greasy. However, about its shine, its greasiness decreased actually. It gives like more of a healthy shine right now, so it's a, it looks a little less greasy than it was when I first applied it. Now, for my contour itself, most of it, like my sides, stayed in place. However, the front of my contour is normally swept back a little bit. And right now, as you can see, it didn't hold up like really that well throughout the day. So now the front of my contour is more like downwards rather than swept to the back. And, okay, I'll go through two more days of buildup with this, and I'll show you all how it ends up with all the buildup.
tomorrow. Hey guys, so I'm back, and this is actually my second day of use, aka the first day of buildup. I decided to stop right here at the first day of buildup instead of the second. I originally planned to do three days of use with this because, needless to say, the hole did improve a lot on the second day of use, even after just um, one try of buildup, just after one rinse in the shower and reapplying more the next day. After doing that once, that whole buildup cycle, the hole drastically improved, as you can see, because I'm even able to do a pompadour kind of thing going on with my short hair, which is normally enough for a contour. And it's slickness, tightness is pretty much still there. Although I did have a few flyaways throughout the day, just a quick retouch with the comb can magically fix everything together. Black and white is just one of those pomades where they don't work exactly great during the first try, but their magic really begins to happen after buildup, and that's when you begin to really like the pomade. And that is my most favorite thing about black and white. And my other favorite thing about black and white is its tightness and slickness. As you can see, my sides over here um, are very um, close to um, my head. Although there are a few flyaways, that's just because my hair is short, but really awesome slickness. When I was styling my hair this morning, I was just amazed at um, the, the quick styling I did. Styling was a lot easier in build-up, although there was a little more resistance. It was one of the best styling experiences I've had, to be honest. Even though the shine is not very much to my liking because it's more of a dry shine or a healthy shine, as I normally put it, um, Black & White is a really good product for the money, the amount it has in one jar, and the performance of styling. It is just a legendary pomade. It's one of those classics which never goes out of style, and I can see why Elvis Presley presumably used it for his sides, and James Dean possibly did as well. Okay, so I shall now close this review, and be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, because I will actually be uploading a lot more videos within this month. So stay tuned to my future content, and be sure not to miss my next reviews, because they'll be pretty exciting, I think. So with that, thanks for watching.